Hello, this is a video to go over the the bar top, the ultimate bar top uh, main machine. This bar top has many, many options, which we're going to go through. Um, as you can see, it has a, a variable adjustment for your LED lights. It has a power on button. It has a volume up and down button on the back. It has a fan for cooling, for exhausting all the heat from the cabinet. Um, that exhaust pulls in from underneath the cabinet which is right across the front here. There's a gap, which is also underlighted, so you have lighting coming out the front. Um, in addition to that, on the front here, we have a, a backlit marquee, we have a gun sensor, we have pinball buttons on the sides, we have joysticks, LED, or LED joysticks and buttons, we have control buttons on the front, player one start, player two start, and the different menu control buttons. We're going to go ahead and plug it in, but before we do that, let's open up the back and go over some of the, the details here. Alright, this is a lockable back, but the back folds down. I'm going to grab the camera to get you a better view. Alright, so in the back here, let's see if we can give you a full view. This is the back here. Inside there you have your power supply unit, which runs the system, you have your fan, you have your different um, LED breakouts here, there's an additional brake bar there in case you want to adjust your LED buttons at some point. Now as we get closer, there's your power supply, your control fan for cooling, inside the unit is another control fan for cooling your, your CPU. There's a solid state drive mounted down underneath the keyboard. There's a large uh, 4 terabyte storage drive there. There's a USB 3.0 extension to give you additional USB ports. In, in one of those is a keyboard controller in case you want to make some changes once we're finished that will be pulled. There is a U an Xbox USB uh, wireless adapter. You can play up to four Xbox controllers. Inside is your motherboard. There's a high speed motherboard with video processing built in to conserve space obviously. Um, anyway, to go over that, there's a 8 gigabyte uh, RAM chip. It has a CPU cooler built onto it, which is just attached as a heatsink. Um, you also have your video connections, all your USB interfaces. Um, there's a network adapter if you want to plug in your, a network cable. Your audio is off the board. Um, there's a power socket on the side there to run your power so that it can power up your monitor and your and your power supply and everything from the um, plug underneath. There's also a a um, over surge uh, protection built into the in, the input input on the power. Um, up here you have your different LED connectors. Um, there's 12 volt and 5 volts. So you have two connections: one for 12, one for 5. Uh, that's about it on the inside. There's not a whole lot more in there, other than a lot of different wires. Um, most of the wiring for the control panel is down underneath. Your SATA cables run across. Everything's secured to the the to the um, bottom board. Um, if you want to work on it, you can actually drop out your bottom board and do some work in there. The hard drive is mounted on a shock absorbing platform. The solid state is hard mounted, and um, and that is it for internally. We're going to close that back up. Put our camera back in the stand here. I'm going to try and get this video down to 15 minutes sections so that we can cover, um, so we can upload it to YouTube. So, now you have a one, one plug power cord. Goes in there. Spin the unit around. Power button's mounted on the top. When you power the unit up, You'll see the motherboard booting. Um, all your LEDs are controlled by the motherboard power supply, so as you turn it on and off, everything gets powered up and down accordingly. Now this is going to boot up into Windows. It has a solid state 120 gig boot drive just to speed up the boot process. Let's see if we can get a good view on the, the front here.
It has a custom background with hyperspin on it. It's picking up the Xbox adapter, which is just mounted permanently. All right, so when it first boots up, you, it's going to boot right into hyperspin now. As you see, you have a, a adjustment here for your joysticks and your backlight marquee and, and the sticks, and also your underlighting is hooked up to that. It's a little hard to see the underlighting without the with the LED buttons on. But you can adjust that to whatever brightness you'd like. Um, it boots right into main, or it comes right into the main menu, which first is main. But as you can see, you can. You can pick through your different games. Um, I'm going to go rotate through all the different games slowly so you can see all the different emulators that are installed. There's an instruction sheet um, for configuration to reconfigure any, any controls on all, all the different arcades. Um, it has visual pinball. Build in. I'm going to try one of those. Just been going through getting all the keyboard configs set up so that everything flows smoothly once you're in the games. So you start the game with the start button, and then your plunger is the enter button. On this we'll be we'll be remapping the flippers and also increasing the video size so you don't have any of this background on it. And um, so that's the virtual pinball or vis visual pinball. Once you get out of there, you can you can roll back to your other emulators. As Nintendo, Turbo Graphics, Thomas Wave, Mugen, Odyssey, and Television, Vectrix, a lot of different emulators. Just set up the Scum VM, which is a little bit a little bit tricky to set up, but once you have it set up, it plays okay. To exit out any game, you just hit the Escape button. It takes you back to the main menu. Exit back out of there. You can fast scroll through the game if you want. Launch the game with the enter button. There's a favorites for favoriting your groups of games. When you power power up, you get um you get you coin up and you start at the same time, so you get um you get free play no matter what. You can set up two players. Their brand new buttons. You exit back out. Exit back again. It has a cave, cave emulator. Video intros to all the different games. Categorized main games. And again, all the different emulators.
anyway, that's the system. That's all the hardware on it. Uh, again, everything is controlled off the back panel. And that's pretty much it. The light, light gun wires up in the front, up through the front uh, gap in there. Or you can run it out the back door, whichever you wanted. That's pretty much it for now. We're going to um, power this unit down, get all the stuff configured, and get out the door.